Dead, the show where the backward compatible crew and their guests tell improvised stories through role playing games. Previously on River of Time. It seems that there's been an accident. You notice a very strange character run through the cubicles. Get the cahier. You have no concept of what you're doing. Leave me alone. Help me to understand. Something's happening. There's a massive reading in the basement. People are making these maybes, usually about cats. I pick up the tablet. It's a temporal catastrophe aversion device. What's your purpose here? I'm meant to be here. For what reason? Their deaths should not have happened. Episode 2, Timefall. You've all been staring at this temporal device. Um, You've taken it back with you. You're no longer in the basement. Uh, You four seem to be the only people who remember anything differently. Some cagey questions, things like that, have given you, say, insight in that no one recognizes that anything has changed. Uh, From what you've seen, uh, Berlin Wall fell... Uh, Cold War ended in 1991, USSR collapsed, Uh, there has been no push to the moon. Um, Things have internalized greatly. Based on what you found out last time, uh, the advancement of the internet, the beginning of the information age, things have become miniaturized, things have become focused on how can we get information distributed rather than how can we go places. So is that a bad thing? Not according to Noodle. It depends on your perspective, I guess. You could also consider it as that every single person from before is gone. Mm. So, good thing, bad thing, depends on your perspective. But also, I don't know what specifically future that I'm trying to change or fix. You do. In the future, there is an organization changes names, changes changes affiliations constantly. Mm -hmm. um, That is essentially a new world order. New world government. Mm -hmm. You are here Because somehow, they keep making that happen. So I keep going back in time to prevent it, but it keeps happening. Correct. So it's like almost like it's predetermined. Correct. Technically, you don't keep going back in time. You've just been seeing that happen here. Okay. Anyway, you have a device. You have dates. You have information. You know a man's name. Oh, the man's name was the the John Worrell? Yes. Okay. And he was the James, one that, James I'm sorry, James Worrell. And yes. we, had, we had tracked him down, um, or I had tracked him down to, you know, stop him from using the device, but failed. But we still know his name, so we know at some point he's going to reappear, essentially. Correct. Okay. So I'm actually going to um, pull out my cyborg, and um, I'm going to noodle uh, James Worrell. Go make a notice check. Notice check. Plus five. There is a James Worrell. He works in the city. He's a nuclear physicist. He has a son by the name of Evan Horrell, who um, is an art student. All right, so I relay that information to all you guys, um, for whatever it's worth. We need to find him. But, whoa, 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 whoa. Is it the same guy, though? He could have been using a different name. An alias? Who would do something like that? Lots of people. Especially people who are trying not to be found. It's the only lead we've got. Do you have a better idea, Victor? Uh... Other than uh, trying to find a help function on this thing, is either here or his son on social media? Uh, his son is. Son is. Yes. Um, so based on looking at his feeds, can I tell what school he goes to? He, he's attending a public university that's here locally. Here locally. What, what yeah. is this city, by the way? Chicago. Um, yeah. yeah, so in, in this timeline, the Noodle headquarters is located in Chicago. Yes. Okay. So, um, well, I propose then that we uh, make a trip down to the school and see if we can meet this person, see if we can uh, figure out what he or his father might be up to. So, wait, wait, wait. We're going to meet the kid, not his dad, who's the actual guy that may or may not be. This could be a way of us finding out whether or not he's actually, um, whether his father might possibly be involved, might be the person we're looking for. Yeah, let's 
It's the only lead we've got. We've got to track him down. Or we could try, you know... I'll take lead on this. Okay. Yeah. Use your use your, rep- your reporter knowledge. Yeah, yeah. I, I bring one of our doodle cars, and we can ride in that. Perfect. Can we all... Can we fit in this small thing? Nobody needs to drive, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> I assume it's like one of those, like, really tiny smart car things that we can... No, all... not quite that small. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's like a... It's a sedan. Really? Small sedan. It's a oh, sedan. wow. Yeah. That doesn't sound like something Noodle would have. Yeah. Okay, whatever. You all this proceed, is Chicago Noodle. Yeah. You all proceed towards towards the university then? Yeah. It takes you a while because, I mean, car just takes forever to get anywhere. No, we get there early. We get there earlier than expected. <laughs> okay. Um, you expect it would take forever because no one's driving this thing, and if you're not driving it, it's going to take forever. Exactly. Um, but you guys get there on, on time, like, better than on time. Like, really quickly. Uh, for one of these cars. The university is a clean, clean campus. Those of you who remember from before, uh, there's a strange wireless devices in the trees. You know what they are, but it's still kind of odd, out of place. Uh, people walking around with small phones, that kind of a thing. Hold on, wireless device in the tree? Yeah. Have you not noticed that most campuses have wireless repeaters in trees now? No? No. Yeah. They're like, a lot of cities Runners. have them too. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Campus Wi-Fi. Oh, yeah. Oh, it, right. Okay. You walk around campus for a while looking for this guy. Uh, eventually, some people let you let you know that he's in the library. Can, can we say that while we're doing, like, I'm, I'm walking around on campus in modern times wearing a pink polo shirt with popped collar and approaching students saying, have you seen this kid? Like, essentially, just, like... That's why it's taking you a while to find this game. All right. So no one's called campus security on us, at least. And then, you know, they, and then as soon as they look like they're about to go for it, I pull out my credentials, and I show them around from Noodle, and all of a sudden, they're very cooperative. Okay. Got it. So I want to actually compel Time is My Bitch so that someone throws a Slurpee in his face. Okay, then. You're burning um, your fake you're point. You're I, I am. <laughs> you're okay. drenched. Oh, it just happens? There's yeah. no roll for that? Um, do you have... This is, this is the thing that's happening. You can try to avoid it, but it's going to... Gold oh, place. no, no, it's, that's fine, it happens. Back off, Creep. But wait, wait, wait. It's, a, it's, it's cherry, though. It's a cherry, right? Sure. Okay, yeah. then it's almost the same shade as my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's good. Okay, you're covered in slushy. Okay. And by this point, I have walked off with the device to the library to look up a book of history. Okay. To check the, na- the dates. All right. You've already reached there. You're looking through, looking through. Is there anything specific you're looking for? No, nothing specific. Just looking at the, the dates and seeing what, what I find that stands out. Okay. Just more details. Based on what you had learned from before, the, the proposal for uh, the first internet infrastructure was by a man named Tim Berners-Lee, who they show records for, they show a lot of records for. But as you go back through a couple of books, he stops appearing. Uh, like his claims of having been from uh, certain schools and things like that, they're credited. They have, Im- they have images and proof of it, but if you go back into further periodicals, he doesn't exist. He just appeared? He just appeared. Roughly around, like, the first few mentions of him is around 1986. I'd like to roll for my contacts, please. Okay. Uh, I only have two successes. And you're doing? A guy at the university, his history professor that I know. Okay. With the intent of his... Uh, well, with the intent of um, pointing out what was just discovered by the, uh, Victor over there. Okay. Well, I could share the information once you get up, to, once you catch up with me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was my intent. I, I didn't realize we were separated, but um, my thought is take it to the history professor and ask him what it means. Okay. Um, we'll hold on to that thing, because yeah. you guys will meet up with him in a moment. So I mean, it takes you a while to go through these books. Can I, can I while, while we're doing this and I'm on campus... Um, can I, can we assume that I like take off my polo shirt and like wring it out? And as I do, because I've got like physique, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm like showing off my bod as I, cause it's something that John, John Titer would do. And then I put it back on. Roll physique. Okay. I got a six. Six. You were impressive for a 45 year old man. Okay. <laughs> my age wasn't listed anywhere on here. So yeah. I'm just not throwing that on. Okay. There. That's fine. I'll write that down. I imagine Sigma Kappa Phi comes up and he's like, hey, cool guy. And they, they slap you on the back and you have no idea why. <laughs> yeah. They are also wearing popped collars. Yeah, yeah. Are you wearing like polarized sunglasses? Oh, yeah, I have to be. Yeah, I have to be. What did I leave you with? Um, <laughs> uh, looking through the book. Looking through the book. Okay, so Tim Berners-Lee 
showed up out of nowhere around 1986. Right. Um, so it could be theorized that he showed up in 1985. Very possible. In okay. fact, extremely likely. So you've given that information. Based to on, those. and for you, based on the fact that when people show up, it takes a while to acclimate, acclimate, and it takes a few. It can take a year or two to actually embed yourself and get stuff lined out. ID documents, yep. birth records. That would line up just perfectly. Yeah. I think uh, we need to ha pay a visit to this guy. At which point is where your, your role comes in. You got a what? Two. And you're looking for someone who knows... Well, I already, uh, I already know a guy at the university. Right. Basically, it was to see whether or not he could help us in this situation. Um, with that, he can't give you anything more than he's already got. Okay. So, so he's out of his office, in other words. Right, yeah. Okay. Victor, take point on this. You found some good information. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, this guy just peers out of nowhere around 1985. I say, uh, pretty suspicious since uh, he's got a pretty big hand in some major events in later years. Uh, I say we, uh, why don't we try this thing now that we know how it works, right? Let's stop him with extreme prejudice. Uh, at least stop him. So I, I dialed in for 1985. Prejudice is a dirty word nowadays, by the way. And I assume you're back from trying to find a history professor? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, hit button. You set, the, uh, you set the dial for 1985? So we're not going to try to get in touch with the student first? Well, in the time you were reading, you would have encountered the student. Okay. So we'll hold on that a moment. Right. You, he's in the library. He's not mm -hmm. he's doing his thing. Okay. It's library thing. Um... So I'm going to go up to him, introduce myself, say I'm Eddie Cameron, I'm with Noodle. Um, I just had a couple of questions for you working on... Uh, I'll, actually, I'll, I'll hint at the, the, the project I'm working on because it has been announced very vaguely, so people don't really know what it is. This is a prank. This is a no, no, it's not. Like, I, I this actually, is a prank. I, I actually show him my... I, nobody's around here with smartphone cameras. Shh. Nobody's nobody's pranking you. Uh, I hide my camera. Because <laughs> um, I have one. Would, would he recognize him? Uh, not my face, no. Okay. Um, so I'm not going to mention your name. Okay. Otherwise, oh, I would have had to, like... My name? Maybe. It's yes, possible. I'm not mentioning your name, though. Bernard's okay. name. Um, but basically, I'm, I'm just asking him, uh, you know, just a few personal questions, like how he, uh, what he's doing at the university, how he got dark, yada, yada. Um, what he is... You in. He's, he's, he's basically a materials kind of, like, textiles thing. Mm -hmm. He's going over to, um, he's planning on going over to the Middle East on a... A student thing mm -hmm. later on, that kind of deal. Gotcha. What was uh, like some of your uh, influence? What was your childhood like? What were um, uh, you know? Did, did you sort of like draw any inspiration from your parents, for example, for um, how you approach things and um, what your uh, what your style is? In the interest of brevity, no, there's nothing. Okay. I guess they. I guess they might have. They're both scientists, so oh, textures and textiles make. Makes sense, mm -hmm. but... Oh, what, um, what sort of scientists are they? Because uh, I'm, I'm a physicist myself. Oh, my dad's a nuclear physicist. Oh, cool. Yeah. Where does he work? It, it's electrical skunk works. They do um, research mostly. Oh, right. Skunk works. I know them. Yeah. Cool. Excellent. Well, thank you for your time. And um, hey, if you're interested in getting in on the beta for this at some point, I'll go and take your contact Button press. information. <laughs> <laughs> so you exchange information, yeah. meet up with them. They're about to press the button. Are you going with them? Yes. Okay. Press the button now. Again, that penny taste comes in your mouth. It's nasty, it's horrible. The world shifts around you, and um, you're standing in a much older version of this library. But, but wait, we go into the past so it'd be newer. They've renovated? <laughs> like, I was genuinely thinking they've renovated because now there are no longer. There are the standard index cards, there are no computers in here. <laughs> There's nobody walking around with earbuds, anything like that. Does the, um, the, the device itself change? You don't have it. I Is this one of those time machines that you know that you can't go back before it was invented because then it uninvents itself in the process? What Ooh. happened to the device, Victor? Where that, did it that's, go? That's what I'm asking. I really should have predicted that. Damn it. This is why I keep failing. <laughs> well, I pick up the same book that I was reading in the same place that it was on the shelf because it's right there. Actually, you do. You, you pick up uh, the same book. Mm -hmm. um, Obviously, it does not have anything after 1985 at this point. It's Wait, like, Victor, uh, leave yourself a message. No, no, that's... that's Don't the push the button. Alice. What? 
You have landed in 1989. Internet's been invented? Uh, no, no it is not. Sorry, what's From not? what you remember, this is the year that the proposal was put forth. By the guy who just showed up out of nowhere. Right. For the internet, is yes. what you're saying? So, the thing. book you're holding still has the same history you did before. It's a much newer copy of the book, published like last year. Same copy of the book, really? Yeah, yeah, it's the same one. Um, but we can still track down, you know... Do I have my, my, my device? device? For, right? My smart device? Yeah. Okay. Everything you were carrying, you still have. Cool. Right. Except the Except device. The one can't connect to the web, obviously, but... Oh, are we still in the information age? Uh, no, you were actually back in the space age. Yeah. Actually, if we switched ages again, then my um, Delphius device might look different. Uh, no, Which... it wouldn't, because of when it was created. Oh, okay. You didn't give it a chameleon circuit? <laughs> <laughs> oh. And roughly, you can tell that it's, it's different... Uh, either because you have changed the past and the present is now different again, or because you have landed in the past. One of the two. Hopefully but, the second. Yeah. So you th- so even by just coming to the past, we could have changed things. It's possible. Okay. So where is Tim Berners Lee now? Like what? We can check he, his phone book. He's published, right? Right. And um, what, what what university is he publishing? Through? He's not a scientist. He's, uh, he's, well, I mean, he's not like a university scientist. He's a computer information scientist, um, who works for a proto-company. Um. The company that will eventually be known as Noodle? No. Okay. No. Um, the company as it currently stands is, uh, Information Computing, IC, and, uh, that building is fortunately located in Chicago. Oh, convenient. And is conveniently uh, across the, the street. The same building that you will work in um, later on. So, provided you're in the past, that is where he works. And that's an awful lot of coincidences related to you. <laughs> Apparently so. Um, now, the building I would eventually work in at Noodle or. At Noodle, yes. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> Because I've got two different pasts, I'm trying to figure out which one. Well, that was the same building either way. Okay, interesting. Yeah, you didn't change buildings when that happened. You were mm-hmm. still in the same building. Oh, good point. Yes. Um, let's go. Let's go. Let's find it. Let's track him down. All right. I would like to define a stunt, please. Okay. What is it? Master disguise. Once per scene, you appear as an NPC in the background. Nice. <laughs> in a scene that you are not physically present, you just reveal yourself as an NPC. I like it. Do it. Um, so, when we get to the building, uh, I assume that there's probably some sort of security that's keeping people out. There is. Um, I'm actually going to use my knowledge of the building and my burglary, um, long story, um, to see if we can find a way to get into the building unnoticed. To be clear, that's a burglary skill. Yes. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, burglary skill, not burglary as a, as a mode. It's intrigue. So, I did some traveling in my younger days. Did you know? Yes. So, I'm going to go ahead and roll burglary. Then. And you're you're just trying to break in. Mm-hmm. All right. So this and is an overcome. Is there any way I can add a um, a modifier for um, knowing the building or the layout at least? So I'm going to go ahead and we'll make a situational thing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create an aspect. We've been here before because you all have been in this building. I'm also going to give it Bastion of Time because it's been here in every every place that you've gone. As you guys have been walking down the street, you have noticed. Radio programs, news reports. This is definitely 1989. And it's the 1989 that we remember. Right. Yes. Because it's before this event that we were expecting. No. Well, yes, yes. Yeah. You have no problems with the way that you remember this place. Okay. So I've got a plus, plus three, but I could also use Delphia's device to increase that. Um, which I think I will. So I'm going to spend one... Um, turn these into plus four, cancel the minus, so that's going to give me plus six. Plus six. Okay. I am going to compel your other aspect. Mm. I did spreadsheets mostly. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to do this? You've never done this. Okay, fair enough. So the obstacle is going to be higher now. All right. Um, is the six still enough to beat it? You still don't, you don't have to take the compel. I know I don't, but... You know, I'll, I'll take it because I'm thinking like, surely this won't be that difficult. You know, technology was less advanced back then, so security is not going to be as good as it is today mm-hmm. in my today. There you go. Um, and you know, surely there'll be no problem. How were you trying to get in? 
Um, so essentially, I'm just sort of circling the building, looking for because I know that, like, okay, so there, here's a back door, here's a side door, here's you know a loading bay, that sort of thing. And I'm just trying to find any of those that look like nobody's around, or if they're open or something like that. There's a really big door back by the loading dock that is open, and it seems really easy to go in through. And I assume that finding this, you would go through it. Probably. Yeah. So, do you guys follow him? It seems yeah. pretty clean and clear. I'm going to yeah. wait and see what happens. See if he gets kicked out immediately. You step inside into a large, um, kind of a warehouse close to the, or it's at ground floor. Um, there's nobody here, though. Mm. It's completely empty. You see a door. You see the door you know about that goes to the, the internal stairs and leads up to the higher offices. All right. Yeah. Let's get up there. All right. We've got to find Tim. I guess I, I say I'll lead the way. For the record, you succeeded with a cost. Okay. So. Good. So how are we just, are we running up the stairs or are we trying to stealth up the stairs? There's no um, security, I assume. I'm going to run up the stairs. That's I, what my character If you, if you try to run, because if I'm in front of you, I'm going to kind of put my arm out and just be like, chill. There's a couple of security cameras in the stairwell. Yes. Oh, there's security cameras? Oh, okay, never mind. I thought that you said it was completely... It's going to walk, act like we're supposed to be here. There are no yeah. people there. There are no people in the loading bay. It's kind of odd that the door was open. Okay. But there are... But, and then there's cameras. There's cameras, yes. Okay. Or where, are we under... Oh, wait, no, no, no. This is the 80s. I'm dressed perfectly. I can blend in perfectly. <laughs> this okay. was acceptable. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, that reminds It's late 80s, though, so people are going to think you're kind of old. He looks 45 anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. That yeah. works perfectly, It fits. Actually. I'm just it saying. Fits. Everything about it fits. Yeah. And I'm still wearing my sunglasses. Yep. Inside. Inside. Yeah. Yeah. Those fluorescents are bad for your eyes, man. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? Um, because you're in the building. Mm -hmm. Basically, where I'm trying to get to is um, just to get inside first, and then to sort of, from there, if we need to navigate to a particular place. And actually, I'd ask you guys now, where do you think we ought to go let's, to find this guy? Let's go, let's go to your office. To your floor. I think if we return to the same scene where we saw him running before, if it's the same person, maybe he'll be there. That's a good idea. So I would start leading What do you us. think? Oh, is Bernard a USS? I'm with him. What, what do you think, Bernard? Well, do I have a bad feeling about this? Uh, no. No, just in general. You're already here. The bad feeling was uh, the fact that you went without the time device, and you're stuck here now. Yeah. So we, we get up to the floor without incident, or is there incident? Uh, yeah, you get up to floor two, because, yeah, floor two, it's not really that high up. Yeah. <laughs> there are some old-style offices here. This seems to be grunt work floor. Is there anyone in here, though? It's middle of the workday. There's a lot of people up milling about, going back and forth, talking to each other. And, and But, I mean, we would rec assume, we're assuming it's the same person, so we would recognize him if we see him. Right. You do not see anyone that looks like him. Okay. So how many of us, so he looks like he belongs here, um, but how many of us look like we don't, clothing-wise? Uh, all of you kind of look like you don't, clothing-wise. Okay. Like, your, your clothing is not exactly period. Well, I'm like, I'm like my, my clothing is period, but I, I just, I may be a little casual for this workplace. Yeah, and leather trench coat never so, goes out of style. So, John, you're going to stick out like a sore thumb, but probably you should be the one to look around for this guy while we sort of hang back. All right. I like that idea. So we're assuming that he... He popped out here on the second floor. Popped out, no pun intended. Right, no pun intended. Um, I'm going to ask somebody. I'm just going to straight up ask somebody, hey, was there a weird guy up here earlier? All right. Um, go ahead and roll report. Yeah, that's that's perfect, actually. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm not even going to spend anything. Four. Weird? No. Um, we, we have some... Uh, I think some of the investors are in today, but they've got a meeting upstairs, that's it. When a guy ran through the hallway here? No. Okay. Yeah, there was a there was a, there was a bed over lunch, and I guess I'll lose. Tell us about these investors. I uh, the corporate investors. They invest in our company? I, Where are they from? Who do they work for? Uh, it's overseas. I think some South American company. I don't trust those South American. Man, I, I, don't, I don't know. I just, I just work here. I just crunch numbers. It's my job. What floor are they meeting on? Uh, I think all the major business meetings are held on like the fourth or fifth floor. Um, Pick one. <laughs> you, um, I've not seen you here before. Are you knew. I just started last week. You want me to provoke him? I got provoke. I got provoke as well. Yeah, I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna provoke him. I'm provoking him. 
Can I assist? Why are you provoking him? Because he, he's not forthcoming with an answer. Okay, so you're trying to intimidate him. Got it. That's what provoke is, right? Yes, it is. Okay. I just wanted to make sure, because provoke is also something that you can use to like beat a person down. Oh, no, no, or, I'm not doing that. You could also just antagonize him, and so I was, I was just trying to make sure okay. that I understood you properly. Yeah, I'm trying to intimidate him. All right. Whoa! <laughs> That's I'm the a, second time you've done that. I, I, gotta, I gotta re-roll that. Let's see. Um, okay, so... Those dice are bad. Can it be my? I guess it would be my Omega. Like I alternate any for this situation. Well, I am a soldier, so I should be pretty intimidating. So that makes sense to me. Okay. I still got a two, a but two? that was better than it yeah. would have been negative before. Check with the if you're if you're one of the check with the check with the receptionist. She would know. I mean, like I said, it's not my job, dude. I crunch numbers. Are you sure you're on the right floor? Because you kind of look like you should be down in the mail room. <laughs> oh man, I, I kind of want to deck this guy. John, I, John. Yeah. There, there's a sign over here by the elevator. It's, it says executive. Oh right. Let's go. John, can you? We're read? off. I've got my eye on you. Poser. <laughs> what? Did he actually call me a poser? Yeah. yeah. All right. I, I, I take, I take a swing at him. Oh no. I take a swing. At him. <laughs> I take a swing. At him. All right. <laughs> Athletics. So, let's see. All right. So that's still a three. Things are different in the future. No, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend a point too. So that's a five. I take a swing at him. All right. So you're, you're spending combat. And you're using um, your concept. My skill is combat. Yeah. My concept is concept. I'm, a, I'm a soldier. You know, I don't. I obviously you don't take any guff from someone that's. All right. Um. I yeah. want to. I want to stop him through sheer will. I want to shout his name. And get him in the elevator. Okay. Um, I'm kind of hoping you win, by the way. <laughs> but I have to do this. Yeah, sure. I gotta do this for this character, you know, I gotta roleplay. Me too. It, it may not be the smart move, but it's what John... And, and, I'm, and I'm trying to be subtle and blend in. Do it. Uh, so a six. And you rolled a five? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, you are going, like, you... Go into it. You rear back, and you hear him shout your name. You're like, "What him?" Yeah, you know, I yeah, I, I, I stop. I stop mid. Uh, John stops mid swing. He has to physically grab you by yeah. the shoulder and pull you back towards the stairs. It's gay into a. Well, I'm assuming because it's will. It's, it's more like it's more like he grabs me or something, and I like kind of. Yeah. I kind of. I come down from my yes. rage or whatever. Yeah. So I, I sort of snap back to reality. Think, yep, think happy I went into the combat the combat mode for a moment there. And so as you drag him back out, sorry where I've been waiting. Yeah. Um, has anyone seen uh, Victor? Cut to outside the building, Victor is leaning against the wall just whistling. <laughs> there are maybe um, a van pulls up. Is there like a sign on the van? No, there's not. There are also no license plates. It's also completely obscured. Okay. And it's very big. Uh-huh. Yeah. Men with guns come out? Not at present. Good, keep watching. It just pulls up and stops at the curb. Does it look like it stopped for me, or is it stopped at the curb? It stopped in front of your building. Okay. But no one has gotten out of it yet. And you can't exactly see... You can see figures, like silhouettes, inside through the windows, but you can't really see inside. I'm just going to continue observing. Okay. As you guys are heading up, you find out that the um, there is a meeting going on. Since you you up to the executive offices, yeah, uh, yeah. There's a big meeting that's about to go down. One of their one of their lead uh, computer science professionals, a man by the name of Tim Berners Lee, is meeting the visiting uh, executives. Uh, he has a proposal for them. Their goal is to get new funding for this project. Presumably, this is the internet project, right? Yeah. Probably based on what so, we know. So how do how how do we find this? There, there's a receptionist who asks if you're part of this. Oh, okay. And this is what you find when you get up there. Okay. Based on the stuff you did on the lower floor, those guys get out of guns. Not, not like rifles or anything. But obviously, that they look like they have something. Up. Yeah, yeah. There's something there. Got I you. vanish. I will flash my phone. She looks at it. I was like, "What is?" I'm delivering the prototype, and then oh. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. You tab um, it on in full color, it comes onto the, the crystal screen. Yeah, they're, they're, they'll be down the hall. You guys start walking down the hall. Um, you can see people gathering in a meeting room down the hall. You take a step, you take a step. A door opens, another door opens, 
and the stairwell you guys just came from, people clad completely in black fall out. Receptionist kind of screams and ducks down. They fall out and surround you guys. Fall out as in they run out. They're not like... Yeah, they just... Oh. Like, they fall out of all these doorways, and they're coming straight at you guys. Like SWAT team kind of thing? Yes. But do all the people from the meeting notice this too? Uh, yeah, they do. So the meeting stopped as well? A little bit, yeah. Because yeah. they're the security team, and they knew you were coming. Can I yell out, Wait! Don't trust him! Don't trust the internet! It's bad! Uh, People talk about nothing! It's bullcrap! One of the one of the guards reaches forward to knock you out. And he's about okay, to... Okay, uh, I, can I try to use... Athletics would be a defense. Athletic? Yes. Alright. Oh, that's not good. I'm gonna spend a fade point. Try it again. Ah, oh, even worse. Okay. That's terrible. What'd you get? Uh, two. Alright. Alright, can I'm able to use another fade point? Can you just keep doing fade as points? As long as you have yeah. a different aspect that you can trigger. Um, well, I'm trying to prevent the, the internet so I can this, use alternating. Yeah, well, technically the scene- well, yeah, because you're trying to avoid getting- Yeah, we're trying to get into the, yeah. into the meeting. Okay. okay. Roll it. One more roll. Spend your fade point. One more time. Okay, it's, the same a, thing? it's the same thing, too, from last time. Alright. So, okay. Um, this guy steps forward and just clubs you over the head. And just drops you. Um, you black out for a moment. It's at this point that a woman steps forward out of the group and says, Excuse me, all of you, you need to come with us immediately. Uh, you're trespassing on private property, and you have no right to be here now. Next week on River of Time. You're not going to believe this, but I'm from the future. I'm going to grab one of their guns and go straight for ten. You guys have history then. Your beeper goes off. Oh god. What is the beeper? Burn him. Let's get out of here. Human lives are not an acceptable sacrifice, John. What do you think happens in war? So what's the plan? You feel an impact against you. I'm going to drop into a deja vu stance. Right, like, crashing sound. See, I told you they're bad people. This has been Roll With It, a production of BackwardCompatible.com. The Game Master for River of Time is Will Parsons, running Atomic Robo the RPG by Evil Hat Productions. Ed Cameron is played by Chris Krueger. Victor Goddard is played by Brian McKittrick. Bernard Hutton is played by Adam Doc Bracken. And John Titer is played by Jim Weaver. The producer is Chris Krueger. For the Backward Compatible Crew, thank you for listening.